about hacking a little bit. Um, at Facebook, we love this. We do a lot of hackathons. We do internal hackathons, external hackathons with university students. In this hackathon in Nigeria, we were able to witness how the participants developed projects related to corruption, children in the criminal justice system, human trafficking, and other related areas. Projects were very interesting and they demonstrate exactly what we are trying to achieve through the hackathons, which is to get people thinking about what they can do to improve people's lives when it comes to justice and the rule of law. Facebook, UNODC, and African Team Geeks are bringing something big because this is rare. Fighting crime is something we don't hear every day. So this is one of the hackathons that I think is very important, especially in Nigeria. The rule of law is something that everyone should be striving to achieve. So take this, good luck, and start coding. Working on the issues of rule of law and specifically the Education for Justice initiative was about um, educating young people about issues of rule of law, um, but also getting them to learn and educate their peers as well. Um, coming from South Africa, which has one of the highest uh, crime rate in the world, apparently, um, for me, it was really important to start getting our young people um, engaged in these issues early on, and so that we can hopefully have, have an impact and graze a young a, a generation that may not be as impacted by um, by crime. The thing is, talk is cheap. Action is expensive. And today, what I can say is Facebook, UNODC, and African Teens Geek have actually taken that step towards a better future. I have picked the second challenge, which is human trafficking, which is a big deal right now. And I hope that my solution would have a lot of impact in my society. It's been really creative. The past two days, the kids have had the opportunity to engage with mentors who are supporting them in the process to create ideas that we hope can be scaled across the country to bring solutions to the justice system in Nigeria. This hackathon, as you probably know, is like part of a big initiative, which is called Education for Justice, where it's right to educate young people on the topics related to rule of law, justice, and crime prevention. With this hackathon, of course, uh, it's the first one we're doing in Nigeria and we're really proud to be here and we see a lot of uh, talented people who can uh, help, help us achieve this uh, goal. I want to be a practitioner in making changes. I want, to, I want to solve problems. I want to bring out new solutions. As opposed to just talking about it, I feel like this program is doing great to raise awareness among youths, as young people, right? Not only to the fact that these, these crimes are wrong, but to also take a proactive step into bringing solutions. Um, in Africa, we have specific problems that need specific answers and specific solutions. And in order for us to find, um, to get those solutions, we need to utilize our own Africa talent. Um, so having these hackathons is a way to find those talents, locate them, bring them in one place, and not just find solutions, but create a way and a path that they can make those solutions real. Hackathon for Justice is a unique way to now begin to spread the, the work we do to, to the youth. Uh, make them more aware about integrity, ethics, rule of law, and solving problems relating to this. We have seen talent. We have seen uh, thinking among students, coming up with solutions to societal challenges. This is exactly what we saw this afternoon. When I was here earlier, I wasn't sure what to expect, but guess what? We won! <laughs> UNODC, Facebook, and African Tingis were working with the talented youth we have here today to stamp out crime using technology. Mm -hmm.